In this lesson, we will focus on two graphs for each relationship. Today's goals are, I can interpret a graph of a proportional relationship using the situation given, and I can write an equation representing a proportional relationship from a graph. Today, we are going to see what connections are made between the table, the graph, and the equation. In a table, when the x value equals 1, the y value is the constant of proportionality, which is represented by the letter k. Also, in a graph, when the x value equals 1, the y value is the constant of proportionality. For the equation, the number multiplying x is the constant of proportionality. In order to find the constant of proportionality, we need to divide the y value by the x value. An example of this would be, if I had point 0.54, what would the equation of the line be if it was proportional? So, knowing how to solve for constant of proportionality, we divide 4 by 5 and get 0.8. So the equation would be y equals 0.8x. Another example would be, imagine that a faucet is leaking at a constant rate and that every 2 minutes, 10 milliliters of water leaks from the faucet. There is a proportional relationship between the volume of the water and elapsed time which graph shows milliliters per minute. A description of graph A would be, we could say that the elapsed time is proportional to the volume of water. The corresponding constant of proportionality tells us that the faucet is leaking at a rate of one-fifth of a minute per milliliter. And the description of graph B would be, we could say that the volume of water is proportional to elapsed time. The corresponding constant of proportionality tells us that the faucet is leaking at a rate of 5 milliliters per minute. 